Hi everyone, Anil here and today we are going to create Power Apps Code App from scratch. What is Power Apps Code App? If you will see, we do have options for uh, Canvas App and Model Driven App. Now, there is one more app that is Code App came into the picture. Okay, so how we can create this? This app is basically, you cannot add it from this Power Platform tool. You can only, you know, play, share and you can see the details setting and delete these only the options that are available how you can add it and how you can create i will show you step by step so this is prerequisite all platform environment with code app installed and enabled so you can see here we having some uh, guidelines for this what do you have to do first you have to go, uh, go into the power platform admin center now click on manage this is my environment i will just click on setting click on product click on features and then see in the bottom if you will see there are two options power app code apps you can enable and you can enable this also power apps component framework for canvas app these two two features you can enable and you can click on save button my save is disabled because i have already enabled it now next step visual studio code install the visual studio code so if you will see here click on download button it will install right i will go on node.js click on this and here from this url you can download the node.js and then power platform tool for vs code so power platform tool this is also important you can see here we having a uh, installed with window msi you will click on this then go on install first download it once it will download then click on the install on the setup file it will start to install it will take hardly 5 to 10 seconds and it will install then you can see we have to create a folder so if you will see here i have already created a folder over here right this is code app power app this is my in d drive now i will create a new project for that i will go on window powershell so i will use window powershell if you want you can directly use um, vs code i will go in d directory and cd and then space tab 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 this is my folder hit enter now we are in a correct directory right now from here we will create a project so this is for project creation i will uh, just right click automatically my uh, command will copy and paste power apps from scratch we can say power app power app code and this will be demo correct now i will hit enter once you will hit enter it will take few seconds to creating it now your project has been created correct now what i will do i will go again i will type cd and i will go in a correct directory This is my uh, project that we have created. Power app code demo. Correct. Right? Now from here I will open my VS code. Code space dot. It will automatically open your VS code. Okay. So your VS code has been opened. You can see your power app code demo. Now from here I will open a terminal. From this terminal I will start. You know. Uh, to install. All other you know commands. Click on npm install this will install the uh, npm all right so npm has been installed now it is saying if you are asked agree to small kit byte do that also because i have first time i created uh, the application i got uh, this option to you know ask for agree to install this you have to install this also accept the default package name you know your project name by presenting enter if you are asked to select framework select react if you are asked to select variant select type script at this time the power app sdk required to the port 3000 in a default conf configuration install the node type 
definition using this command okay so i will copy it and i will directly paste because uh, i already created three or four projects before this so that i'm not getting many options but if you, you will get the options if you are getting any error just copy that error over here you know this is copilot and the copilot will guide you uh what do you have to do from here you can use the agent and then here gpt 4.1 right whenever you are getting the error you just click on the error and fix it by the copilot right so this is installed then it is saying open white.config.cs and update this so i will go and this is my config.ts i will copy and paste it okay i will save it then it is saying enter the following to test your app now i will type this command npm run dev now see here it is started my local server is started i will click here on my local server it will start my application see here so my application is running on local host i can go point 3 point 4 point 5 whatever i will click if you want to see how it is running i will show you this is my app.tsx in app.txs you can see this is set count and here it is saying count is i can hyphen welcome to my first project okay now if i will save it see here automatically it will change welcome to my first project and the count is 10 11 12 and 13 okay so from here you can make the changes now the next step is if you are developing on mac os then you can do these changes from you can change this script to this script but we are not a mac i'm not in a mac actually i'm in a window then press ctrl c to stop the server i will press ctrl c my server will stop now okay my server is right my server is stopped what i will do now it is saying authenticate the power platform cli against your power platform tenant so i will type this command and in here you can see this is power platform uh, extension so this is the extension just click over here and you can type the extension power platform it will install power platform okay it will add the extension in your uh, vs code then see here now i will type this command pack auth create whenever i will click here it will ask me for authentication see here so this is saying sign into your account this is my account i will click here and it will install it will connect actually so you can see connected to anipra default so this is my uh default environment you can see default is this and tipsynl at the rate tipsynl.com you can see here if i'll show you i will go here you can see the universal this has been connected right i connected twice actually so that's the reason it is showing two but it should show one but that's not an issue right then we will go here it is saying login as a power platform account when prompted you can also use power platform tool vs code extension to do this yes you can do that also select the environment using now we will have to connect with our environment because we can have multiple environment but from which environment you want to connect it so i will just copy it now this command i will just copy it right then i will make a space and after the space you can see url of the environment so go here and click on session detail and here you can see environment id and this is environment instance url type this url and then click here just click here and see it will start to connecting you can see validation connection connected to anipra default so this this has been connected now i will close it next it is saying initialize your code app using pack app finish display or app from scratch now here we will provide our uh, project name to see it is going to be connected so connected as tipsynl.com now uh, you can see powerconfig.com has been generated correct 3000 code 
Now the next command is notice uh, you can see there is a uh, power config.json file in a project. Install the power SDK using this command. So I will just go and I will install power SDK. Okay, so it is installed. Now you can see in a package.json we have to change dev byte to this, this parameter. So package.json, this is package.json, and we will change this and click on save. Now, if you are on a Mac, you can change from uh, this to this. Save the package.json. Then import, you can see we have to create one folder and this file we have to create. Okay, I will go into the SRC. In SRC, I will click new file and hit this. And after that, you can see I will just redirect on this and this is git URL. I will copy and paste the file name, uh, the file data from here. Okay, and I will paste over here. Right, I will save it. Then I will close it. Then it is saying now import it in main.tsx. Go here and in the main.tsx. This is where is main.tsx? Yeah, here. So I will import it here. Okay, and change this code okay now it is saying save the file you can run npm run dev now i will run npm dev c so this is pack.exe has been started and now i will copy this url okay and will open here See here so app is running in local mode so now your app running is in a local mode okay if you want you can publish because right now if you will see here this app isn't over here right i'll show you this app isn't here now npm run Builds. It will build my code. Okay, pack code push. It will push my code to my environment. Succeed. Now I will move here and I will refresh it. See here, Power App Code App 26 second ago, Power App Code App has been deployed over here. Now I will run my application and you can see my application is running. You know, if you want, whatever change, if you want, you can do over here. I will go on chat GPT. I will say generate code for Power App Code App React Framework leave application dashboard what it will do it will generate a code of sample okay so see here it is going to start it generate now i will create a page leave dashboard okay i will go here and will copy an src folder new file leave dashboard dot TSX. Okay. This is my TS. This should be T. TSX. Okay. Now I will copy this. Okay. And paste over here. Right. I'm getting seven errors for now. So what's the errors? The first you can see this is not needed. Okay. I will remove this. And then you can see component UI card cannot find. I will go and I will say here. Then it will ask you to install some commands. You can install this command npx. This is npx. And then go here and hit run. 
your one error gone and then it will ask you cannot find this module go here and type this copy and paste here it is installed okay then see here rechart cannot find rechart okay. just copy these two and run over here all right now then again we generate code and find see here now it will give us a correct uh, code with correct import i will copy this and now we will paste over here still it is it is not generated now it's generated okay i will just stop it in a leaf dashboard i will copy and paste it click on save button so again we have to run the server npm run dab so our server has started to run now i will go here and see here the dashboard is ready okay you can see now i will say code app push then i will just stop it npm npm run build okay so it is saying this we are getting the error so remove this okay we have not saved actually now npm run build So build succeed. Now we will say npm uh, npm code push. Sorry, uh, pack code push. So you can see our uh, app has su successfully been pushed. Now I will refresh it app. see here so our application has been post and now you can see a beautiful you know uh, dashboard over here right this we have we have we are getting a scroll bar over here but we are not getting a scroll bar we will fix it but uh, see how th this is very but see how the things are very easy for now we can just uh, copy the code from chat gpt and we can design accordingly you can see all added and delete button you can see here and uh pending leaps approved leaps or rejected leap whatever you will say wh whatever prompt you will push over here like you want pie chart uh in the, in the dashboard it will include all the pie chart you can just paste the code and then you will get all the data all the data over here on the page right and in my next video i will show you how we can connect this uh you know this application with live data with uh, data words or with a sharepoint so i hope you love this video if you love this video then please subscribe my channel thank you and bye bye